Hi everyone, my name is Sonia, also known as Cat Crazy Creations here on YouTube. Welcome to Cat Crazy Creations Crochet. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well. Today is Sunday, January 19th, 2020. Today I only have one current whip that I am working on. But I thought I would show you a few things that I did crochet that I do not believe that I have shown um, since my mom has been sick. Because it's been a very long time since I have done um, a crochet video. So I thought I would go ahead and re-show those. If I have shown them, I'm sorry, I just cannot remember. But I really don't think I've shown them. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm first off going to show my whip. I should have taken all this out. It is Bernat Handicrafter Cotton Two Color Bag Holder. And there it is. It's an easy pattern. And I'm making one of these for my son. He requested one. And I'm making one for myself as well. So I'm working on my son's right now. So what you do, you make the bag in two colors, which I have to you know, done here. And then you make the stem, you chain, you embroidery ch chain stitch the stem, you make flowers, or one flower. So I made the flower, and then in the middle I did some French knots. In the middle of it so that get it the right way so that will go up here and then there are three leaves that Yeah, so there's three of those. And then what you would do is you would like put a leaf here, put a leaf down here, and then one right here. So that's how that is gonna look. Okay, so once you got the flower and leaves, you sew it You know, with yarn, so it makes it like this. So then you're going to have your flower, like right there, and then the leaves. So then that's what it would look like for two color. And I really like this pattern. Even though, you know, there's not really reason for bag holders anymore because a lot of the stores are not giving out plastic bags anymore but I, on occasion I will get a plastic bag and you know and my son kind of feels the same way as you know you get you get a plastic bag and it, they accumulate but what I do is when I get a plastic bag, I keep it. I also keep the vegetable bags that come, like the little plastic ones that you get. You can put your apples or, you know, whatever in vegetables or whatever. I also keep those and I use those for um, getting, you know, cleaning out the litter box or, you know, if I'm outside with my dog. 
you know, cleaning up after him. And I've got those kind of bags there. So that's what mine, I'm actually thinking, this isn't really a really long one. It's only like 13 inches, 14 inches. I'm thinking about maybe cutting mine in half. And I'm just going to use mine for that purpose, for the bags to clean up after my animals, because I really don't have anywhere to keep all those, the fruit bags and the, you know, the plastic bags from the produce section. So, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. This is my whip. It will be done on my next crochet video, so I will show you the completed product and I might have two at that point so this is the colors I don't know what they are because I'm using stash but this is for the stem really pretty it's lighter than olive color and that's about the true color right there and I'm using this, I think it's like a salmon. That's pretty true. It's not orange. So I'm thinking it's salmon. I'm using the salmon for the flower, this for the stem, and then this variegated blue, which is pretty true to color, um, for one half of the blank or for the bag but yeah it's variegated it goes real light and then into the darker okay so it's really pretty and then I'm using this cotton yarn that I got from Debbie the Canadian crotcheter it's knit CA wavy 100% cotton And it's just light yellow. So that's what I'm using for the other half of the bag. So that's the colors. And yeah, so I'm hoping to have all of that complete on my next cross stitch video. And it looks like the light, I'm getting shaded, that it's not a good day here today outside. So I tried to find the brightest spot in my house for at the moment. Okay, so let's go ahead and go on to things that I worked on that I'm not sure if I showed. So the first things that I want to show came from the crochetspot.com. And it's free pattern. It's called Mushroom Pin Cushion. So I don't know if I show these or not. Like I said, so just bear with me. It's an easy pattern. So these are the two that I made. real fun real quick I'm thinking about getting going to the thrift store getting a tray just a some kind of little tray to and then I'm going to put these on the tray I'm going to get some moss put on the bottom put these on and then maybe find some little gnomes any little teeny gnomes and and make like a scene with these because these are really cute and they're not that big they're maybe three inches so yeah I made a couple of these and it's from crochetspot.com and it's mushroom pin cushion and this is all scrap yarn all scrap yarn so I made that and then from Ella at no catchy name I did Hocus the Witch Frog, 
using all scraps as well. And here is mine. Trying to fix it up here. It's been laying around for a while. Here is mine. Really, really like it. It's adorable. She has such amazing, cute patterns. Go check her out. Um, her name's Ella, and she has a YouTube, but no catchy name. I know most of you probably know who she is, but she makes some really, really cute things. And so that is that. And like I said, a lot of these I made while my mom was in the hospital and all of that. So I know I wasn't recording much, so I don't know. So there's those. And then the next one I want to show is from Stringy Ding Ding. It's an owl amigurumi. And her YouTube was um, French Fry Crochet. So that's what she went on on YouTube. But she has the dot com, which is Stringy Ding Ding. She's also on Instagram as Stringy Ding Ding. So, I made these. Well, I made the little, little tiny one. And here he is. Really, really cute. So, that is it. It's called Al Amigurumi. And the last one that I want to show is from Stringy Ding Ding again. She has awesome patterns. She, she has the cutest patterns. If you guys haven't checked her out, go check out her patterns on um, stringydingding.com. She has all her patterns there, and they are so cute. And anyway, this is the turkey amigurumi. And here is mine. Let me get him fixed up here. Really, really cute. They work up so quick. She is, she's very self-explanatory in her comments, as is, as is Ella, that no catchy name. They both do a really good job of um, doing their, writing their patterns out. So, there we go. And once again, amigurumi, turkey amigurumi, stringydingding.com and then check the patterns. So that is all for this time. Um, I needed to make this video. I needed to get back into the swing of things. Everything is going really good now. So I want to get on a regular schedule again and I thought today was perfect even though the lighting is not good. But um, yeah, I wanted to get back in there and get started with my crochet videos. I've already done a cross stitch video, so that was last Sunday. So I'm just trying to keep it going every other week like I had been doing 
before all of the sickness and everything happened. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It just helps YouTube see that my videos are being liked. They're being watched. And they will put my videos out for more people to see. And please also make sure to share and to comment. I would appreciate it so much. Um, anyway, so that is it for this time. I will see you guys in two weeks. And I should have a lot more things to show at that time because I'm crocheting and really motivated. So you'll see more um, crochet from me. So anyway, everyone take care and I'll see you on my next video.